Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. This time we will uh, create this art journal page. I love nature and trees and uh, flowers, so it's always a source of inspiration for me. Since I'm going to use uh, acrylic paints, uh, I'm preparing my pages with gesso. This is light gesso, it's not heavy, uh, so it will dry quickly and uh, just prepare my pages uh, for the mediums. And I also sticked uh, two pages together uh, back and forth uh, to make them stronger and thicker. I'm going to use my Prima uh, metallic paints here. This is the Art Alchemy line. They are really amazing. Uh, I have uh, all the colors and I love all of them. The one I'm using here is uh, Violet Green. It is iridescent. Uh, it has two colors uh, in it, uh, both uh, a light green and uh, some violet hints in it. So I hope you see while I'm painting a kind of uh, light violet is also coming through. And I'm going to introduce another color. This is Vintage Rose. Uh, I will blend these two together. I'm not covering uh, all the page with this uh, pink color. I'm just having some brush strokes. Uh, I also want this texture that comes from applying the paint with a brush. And uh, I am applying it uh, here and there, leaving a little bit gap uh, in between. Uh, because it makes it uh, more interesting, adds a texture. And if I lift my notebook, I think uh, you will see better uh, where I apply and where I leave a gap uh, and the strokes. So here I think it's uh, clearer. Uh, I leave uh, some gap in between so that the green uh, comes through as well. And I am really happy with the result. As you see, I already have a texture at the background from my brush strokes. And now I'm going to do some uh, stenciling around the borders uh, of my page. I'm using texture lux uh, this time. This is by Faber Castell. It's an iridescent uh, pearlized uh, white texture paste. Uh, I'm using this because uh, I don't want to lose the metallic uh, color that these paints have. This is a green olive. If I use the regular modeling paste, I might have lost uh, all this beautiful uh, metallic uh, shimmery uh, texture that this paint has. So I chose to uh, use this uh, paste this time. I'm just mixing it with my color uh, and uh, I'm mixing it until I'm happy with the color. I'm going to use this stencil by Prima. It has little leaves. So I'm going to go around my page uh, applying my paste with this stencil uh, to give a look of uh, leaves are coming through the page. You can also use this paste with uh, normal acrylic paints or anything you want. Uh, it will make your color uh, shiny, shimmery like you see here. That's the whole aim. In this case, my paint was also uh, a metallic uh, acrylic paint, but if it wasn't, uh, it would uh, give a nice shimmer to it anyway. As you see, I'm applying my uh, paste only on the borders. This is a way of creating a border and adding nice texture. While I do that, uh, I will also remind you that the uh, full list of supplies are uh, down below at the description area or in my blog as usual. You will also uh, find the close-up pictures of the project uh, in my blog as well. And here it is, uh, complete uh, and it looks really nice uh, as if uh, some leaves are coming around the page. Now I will do some stamping. Uh, I found my uh, stamps that has little leaves. Uh, you can use uh, anything actually. Uh, I'm using this just because it has <laughs> little leaves. Uh, so I will do random stamping. I'm using my uh, archival ink pad to do this. Uh, 
and here it is quickly how it looks moving to my uh, focal point I have these leaves that I die cut uh, from this Sizzix uh, set and I will show you another art journal that I did uh, again cutting these leaves uh, and I used them in another way uh, they are really nice uh, I love using them so I decided to use them again and I will link uh, this uh, video as well down below uh, for you to watch if you want to and I'm going to color the leaves the same way I colored them last time this is my one of my favorite methods of uh, coloring uh, I just put some distress ink the colors that I want I spray some water and uh, I just dip my leaves into it uh, and the color that comes uh, out of it uh, is a mix of uh, colors uh, very naturally and uh, it's a bit of a surprise every time you lift the uh, leaf so uh, I really enjoy the process as I go you will see I apply my uh, colors according to if I want it darker or lighter or which colors uh, I want to create some variety uh, you saw the colors that I'm using uh, on the screen when I started uh, using them so I keep adding and uh, coloring uh, and now they are finished uh, so I will add uh, some more colors uh, after they dry uh, the same colors I'm using uh, this will make it uh, a little bit more crisp and defined and I want to darken the colors a little bit so randomly uh, in the places that I see the colors uh, I apply the same color uh, to make it uh, a little bit more vivid And now I'm going to decide on my composition. Uh, I always uh, want to make it into a reed. Uh, so I'm placing my uh, leaves uh, in a circle. And I will place them on top of each other as well uh, because it looks very rich uh, that way. And as you see the colors I chose uh, for my leaves matches the background perfectly. And now that I know my composition, I will just uh, stick my leaves uh, the same way I uh, created them. And here it is. Now it's time to stamp my sentiment. Uh, I'm using this Tim Holtz uh, alphabet set uh, and I'm using uh, archival uh, coffee color. This is called uh, tall text. I'm going to stamp uh, trees inside my wreath and the rest of the uh, letters outside on the next page and I'm using another uh, alphabet set as well. I'm just highlighting the words that I want to highlight using the tall text uh, alphabet set and the others uh, I'm using smaller letters. As you saw here I didn't get a very good impression with my uh, uh, stamping. So I'm going to go over the letters. It's not a problem. Uh, you can use any marker uh, to do this. Since I have the general shape of it, I can easily go over it. I'm using my Faber Castell uh, brush pen. This is Coput Mortum. Uh, the color goes uh, very well with the page as well. And I easily uh, go over all my letters. And I want to embellish my page a little bit more after this. I have these uh, little leaves. Uh, I, I use the die cut. Uh, I, but unfortunately I don't remember where I got it. They are very small leaves. Uh, I will color these uh, leaves with the pink uh, uh, paint that I used for the background. After I uh, see them on the page, uh, I actually decide uh, they are a little bit pale and blend uh, so much with the background. Uh, you will see that uh, I will use my uh, Distress Ink uh, Vintage Photo to give them a little bit shading uh, and darken them up so that they stand out uh, against the background. And now I'm going to stick them on my page. 
I'm using matte medium here. I'm not using a lot and I'm not sticking them uh, everywhere. I'm just choosing places uh, to create a little bit of a balance and add uh, interest uh, to the page here and there. I'm also giving a quick border with my brown marker here, uh, just drawing it myself as you see. And uh, two more embellishments. Uh, these are brads in shape of birds. It goes with the concept of the page. I'm just going to poke a couple of holes uh, on my page. Uh, since I left the page before and after empty, I can easily apply these ideas that comes to my mind uh, afterwards. I didn't plan for this, but I had the freedom. And I'm also giving uh, a little bit color on them with Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Lastly, I'm going to do some splashes, of course. Uh, I'm using a vintage photo paint here. Uh, and I will do some splashes because my uh, sentiment, uh, my birds and my leaves have a little bit uh, vintage photo. Uh, so it will bring the page together. And here is the project for today. I hope you like it. It's really shimmery uh, and uh, has pastel colors that I love. Reminding again, you will find full list of supplies down below at the description area or at my blog. Please don't forget to give thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. That's how I know uh, you like my projects and want to see more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.